So instead of just complaining, oh, the business is going and then nobody wants to uh, sell, or nobody really wants to buy, or nobody really wants to sign up, you got to ask ourselves, instead of complaining, instead of comparing with other people, why not we get better? Hello, Kap Lab Buddies. Nandito tayo sa Cubao, uh, dito sa 20th Avenue. Dito particular dito sa Edmark Building. Sa magtungayan natin ang kanina. Meron siya nang nagawin para networking or uh, uh, para seminar. At may mga masama natin. Ang isang pang uh, Kap Lab Buddies natin, isang from Anne Bilancio, uh, si Ita Leone Garcia. Uh, si Anne kasi maraming trabaho. So, Ang uh, kabayaran natin at uh, tutuhayan natin kung ano ang magiging ganap. At syempre, uh, baka makausapin natin yung pinaka-boss, pinaka-head na Edward. Kaya uh, samahan nyo ako ito. Akyat tayo. Thank you very much for having me. First of all, um, yeah, when I came to Philippines, actually I came to Philippines more than 20 years. I don't know much anybody here, but thank God, God is good and we uh, attracted good people. And uh, in 1999, we actually moved in into this building. And uh, the only thing that we just uh, uh, have in mind when we first started the business is to share and care with the staff but with that sort of uh, principle and value the staff give us all our full support and we are able to uh, acquire this building and from there we embark on the network marketing business the network marketing business is, is started not because of we want to make more money but because we believe that it is a business that can touch more people's lives so along the way we put in a lot of uh, um, uh, values, like the four pillars, which is based on the gratitude, abundance, love, and compassion. And as we uh, started this network marketing business, um, uh, of course we do. And uh, today we have uh, we are nationwide, and uh, we have about 18 branches. But you see, most important for anything to to starting a business is one thing that is difficult. Maintaining it is even more difficult and to grow the business is more difficult. But at the end of the day, what makes it tick is the people, is our staff, is our resources. And we can only just do things with passion and motivation to a certain extent. But at the end of the day, we need to develop proper skills. Just like you want to drive a car, you cannot just simply drive a car with just enthusiasm and passion. You need to learn the skill how to drive a car, right? So you need to have proper teachings and proper uh, uh, tuition so that when you go and get your driving uh, test, then you know how to drive the car. So it's the same thing with the business because it involves people. So instead of just complaining, oh, the business is going and then nobody wants to uh, uh, sell or nobody really wants to buy or nobody really wants to sign up, we've got to ask ourselves, instead of complaining, instead of comparing with other people, why not we get better? So in order for us to get better, in order for us to get be, to be more competent, we need to have the proper skills. And skills need to be properly taught. So that's the reason why we come up with this seminar so as to help our distributors to acquire the proper skills. The, the environment is important. Yeah? Um, you know, when I was young, some other, I, I had this dream of creating a place that people are happy, people are supporting each other. Uh, you know, and um, I'm very happy when people are happy. So, we want to create a place 
you could be a, a, a they call it a, a utopia, you know, a place yeah, where utopia, uh, utopia. everybody is happy, everybody supporting each other, abundance, and well, it is going to be a place where uh, uh, thriving with economy, thriving with abundance, and more important, to have these spiritual values, basically the gratitude, abundance, love, and compassion, because. Being grateful is probably the most, most important thing becoming positive. People will say positive thinking is good to be positive, but sometimes when things are, I mean, when things are doing well, it's easy to get, be positive. But it is when things are not doing well, how we become positive. The, the, the easiest thing is that, because this is already in us. Everyone of us has this God-given value of being grateful. Just think of a good, grateful thought of what you already have, immediately you will have a positive thinking and when you have a positive thinking you feel good and only when you feel good then only you can see wow i'm blessed i have what it takes then you can share you can give because abundance is all about giving a sharing right and whatever you give and share you shall receive and at the same time you also need to have the humility and the honor to be able to receive some people only give they don't receive but if you don't receive, you cannot give. You yes. cannot give what you don't have. Yes. You see? Yes. So it has to have So abundance basically is a state of mind. It is not about greed. It's not about having more and more and more. That is greed. But abundance is a state of mind of being able to discern what to give and what to receive. As what is the vision and mission of that life? Well, the vision of Edmark, of course, we want to be the most sought after, value-added membership. I wouldn't want to declare it in the world, it's for people to say, but the most sought after, value-added. Because, you see, it's not only just about earning money, but it's more important of what our benefit in terms of family, in terms of health, in terms of goodwill, in terms of character, uh, in terms of being able to touch and help more people. I've learned one thing is, you see, everyone wants to leave a legacy behind. We thought that, oh, to leave a legacy, we need to uh, create this building, we need to have this, this, this donation for the foundation. But you know what? The greatest legacy anyone can leave behind is the number of people we have touched. The number of people that loves you, that you have loved. Okay? So, and we are committed, our mission is committed to help people succeed in the health, wealth and the total wealth. Our, 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 our uh, uh, forte is in the weight loss business. In fact, we have what we call the P4, Power 4 Healthy Slimming Program, which is very, very effective. I myself have lost 10 kilos. I was fat, obese, and uh, well, and it has uh, these four steps. Number one is to detoxify, you know, because it's very important for us to clean everything first, especially in our colon. Because if our colon is not clean, no matter what you do, exercise, you diet, you will not help. Because the colon is the biggest organ. So when you clean up your organ, your biggest, your, 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 your big, big intestine, then whatever nutrients you eat, it can be easily absorbed. Okay? So the first step is to detox, which we have a very effective product which is called the shake off shake off second step is to the burn the fat okay we have another fantastic product called the mrt which is a meal replacement with therapy which has fantastic ingredients where you have enough proteins vitamins at the same time you will be hungry and you will give you energy okay and you burn the fat and the third step is uh, cleansing or no balancing which we have a product called Spina liquid chlorophyll which will help you to alkaline your system yeah? and the fourth step is to rejuvenate that means you will have energy the whole day which we have it in our coffee which contains a very very uh, important product, uh, ingredient called the ginseng you know, you know ginseng is for, for power for rejuvenation and another coffee which is for lowering down the cholesterol which is the Red East, Red East coffee. Okay. So these these are our 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 our, uh, our main. We have other other product, yes, but this yes. is the main one. It's doing great. It's in, doing well. in yes. all countries. Yes. So we have one last question. What is your message for the end partners and for for the Filipinos in general? 
Well, well, first of all, um, I myself have learned a lot from Filipin Filipinos, and uh, but I think most important is that uh, we really have to see that we are the greatest people that have the greatest talent, and uh, you know. Number one, please don't compare to other people. Yes. Look it within ourselves and see the great things that we already have. And number two, if we are not competent in anything, then get better. Get better in terms of, let's say, if you are not good in speaking, go and speak more. If you are not good in approaching people, go and approach more. Okay? Get better, develop skills, and face your fears. So, with this, I'd like to say thank you very much. Yeah? Sir. Sir. <laughs> I want to feel like Aranella Asuro! Marina, Marina, can we do a wave later on? Okay, can we count? One, two, three! Play, brother! Come on! Hello! Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, can we give ourselves a one time to send Mark International Club? Ready, go! Thank you and uh, see you next time.